Hello everyone, we will continue the topic classical report events and in the previous videos so far we covered initialization, add selection screen, start of selection, end of selection, top of page and end of page event. Few events, yes, requires action from our end. Few events trigger automatically when their time has been reached. Now we will move on to our next classical report event. Our next classical report event is at selection screen output. Previously we covered at selection screen. Now we are covering at selection screen output. One of the most, most important event in any interview, the question will be always, always from this particular event. Now, at what time this event will trigger? At what time this event will call? This event calls before displaying the selection screen or input screen. This event calls before displaying the selection screen or input screen. Now the first question comes into everyone mind now. We already covered a event initialization. Initialization event also calls before displaying the selection screen or input screen. Now I'm saying we have add selection screen output event. This event also calls before displaying the selection screen or input screen. Then what is the difference between both of them? If both event calls before displaying the selection screen or input screen, then what is the difference between both of them? The first difference between both of them is initialization event calls first time before displaying the selection screen or input screen. Suppose whenever you are running the program for the first time, whenever before displaying the selection screen, Whenever you are running the program for the first time, so before displaying the selection screen, which event will trigger initialization? It is only one time. It is only one time calling before displaying the selection screen or input screen. But at selection screen output event calls every time before displaying the selection screen or input screen. This is the one of the most, most important difference because any interviewer can ask initialization event also calls before displaying the selection screen or input screen. Add selection screen output also calls before displaying the selection screen or input screen. Then what is the difference between both of them? Initialization event calls for the first time. It calls for the first time before displaying the selection screen or input screen. Add selection screen output event calls every time before displaying the selection screen or input screen. Now, what is the main, main purpose of add selection screen output event? The purpose of this event is to modify the selection screen. Anyways, whenever practical will start, you will get a full clarity. Whenever we want to modify the selection screen, we will always, always make use of this event. Make a golden rule itself. Whenever you want to modify the selection screen, we will always, always make use of this event. Now, what is the second difference between both of them? With the help of initialization event, 
we are assigning the default values to parameter or select option but with the help of add selection screen output we will modify the selection screen anyways just wait for the practical as of now we are covering the theory part so what we covered as of now add selection screen output event calls before displaying the selection screen or input screen what is the purpose of this event the purpose of this event is to modify the selection screen now what is the difference between initialization and add selection screen output event initialization event calls first time before displaying the selection screen or input screen now add selection screen output event calls every time before displaying the selection screen or input screen with the help of initialization event you assign the default values or initial values to parameter or select option with the help of add selection screen output we will modify the selection screen now we will go for the comparison of add selection screen output with add selection screen event what is the difference between add selection screen and add selection screen output event if you remember at what time add selection screen event triggered whenever we are performing some action on the screen action can be anything it can be click it can be enter so at that time which event triggered add selection screen i add selection screen but at what time add selection screen output event will trigger before displaying the selection screen now with the help of add selection screen event we validated the input if you remember we validated the input but with the help of add selection screen output we will modify the selection screen those who know module pull topic the third point is applicable to them they can easily easily understand if in the future anyways we have a playlist of module pool available if we will compare it to module pool topic add selection screen event is equal to pai process after input event of module pool whereas add selection screen output is equal to pbo event of module pool means process before output event of module pool most most important topic is going on now what is the summary of the video in this video we started with the theory part of add selection screen output event what is the at what time add selection screen output event triggers this event triggers before displaying the selection screen or input screen the purpose of this event is to modify the selection screen now how this is different from initialization event because many people will ask yes initialization also calls before displaying the selection screen or input screen add selection screen output also calls then what is the difference initialization event calls for the first time before displaying the selection screen or input screen whereas add selection screen output event calls every time before displaying the selection screen or input screen with the help of initialization event we can assign the default values to selection screen 
but with the help of add selection screen output we can modify the selection screen now then we compared add selection screen with add selection screen output add selection screen yes whenever you are performing some action on the selection screen whereas add selection screen output because before displaying the selection screen with the help of add selection screen we can validate the input whatever the input we are entering but with the help of add selection screen output we can modify the selection screen now if we will compare it to module pool programming add selection screen is equal to pai event of module pool process after input event of module pool whereas add selection screen output is pbo process before output event of module pool and one golden rule always always remember whenever you want to validate the input in classical report whenever you want to validate the input in classical report always make use of add selection screen event whenever you want to modify the selection screen always always make use of add selection screen output event and whenever in the future you will go for module pool topic whenever you want to validate the input make use of pai event whenever you want to modify my whenever you want to modify the screen you have to make use of pbo event anyways you can learn module pool topic yes already the playlist is available so that's it in this video in the next in the next video we will start with the practical part how we can modify the selection screen using add selection screen output event so that's it in this video thank you